friends and gamers. I greet you from my Aaron screen. We're playing Honkai Impact 3rd today. <laughs> I once again dropped the ball in Honkai. But to be fair, it was because I was like speed running as much content as possible from Zenless Zone Zero Beta. But that's done. It's over with. I have a week, I think a little less than a week. I th actually maybe about a little less than a week. We'll say a little less than a week because Hyperion Lounge for uh, 7.5 is tonight, actually. It's in about an hour. I just got out of a meeting um, and had dinner and uploaded a short. I, I did a lot of things, actually. <laughs> and now we're, we're going to play for like an hour because um, it's uh, 7.52, my time. Hyperion Lounge is at 9 p.m. my time. So we're going to do some event speed run, event rushing, whatever you want to call it. We have events to finish in this patch because I have not started like any of them. To be fair, they didn't. They, none of them were open last time I logged in. I need to be better about logging in at 7.5. We've, we've learned this. I, I looked at this event for two seconds and the audio was too loud, so I left it. Okay, flying to Oshia invitation contest. This is the outfit, Kira outfit event. So we're gonna go into it. I am gonna skip cutscenes. I'm skipping cutscenes. It just has to be done. We'll do the gameplay and that's it. This is what happens when we rush an event. Cause this is the one with the uh, fuzzy pink love. We need to clear chaotic starry sky stage eight for that. And there's a lot of crystals, a lot of stuff to grab. We're gonna finish, maybe not everything in this video, but if I would love to finish it all in this video, but also I do have a time cap because we have to get to Hyperion Lounge. So in we go. <laughs> I wanna watch this cutscene at least. <laughs> do I wanna do the whole event? Maybe I wanna do the whole event actually. I'll, I'm gonna base it off my, how I like this cutscene, it's fun. <laughs> Maybe we will do the event. Oh, it's like VR. <laughs> wow, I love us on this one zero. <laughs> Can't escape it. Okay, all right. We'll do the whole event. You know, we'll do the whole event. I have time. I have like a week. If I do this how I was doing Zenless Zone Zero for a hot minute, we can get it done. We can get it done. We could. But we have a new character who I think might just be an enemy. I'm not caught up with the part two story now, so that's fine. <laughs> But Anki says that we are currently ranked 19th, while Blue Star Visitor is the current leader on the leaderboard. Are we having like a, like a what's the word? Like a Honkai Salvation Log moment? Big Bad Bug? Unsure, but I also moved the box because <laughs> I forgot to do it before. But new character, t number two. I think they're just NPCs. They're a cute little NPC model though. I do have to say that. This one is Weisha. Says impressive. Even with a gaming program installed, a mass produced robot like me cannot achieve this. Okay, so they're robots. And we say you're making me embarrassed. I'm motivated to break records because this game flying to Osha is really fun. I wanna play the game. Let me play the game. Let me play flying to Osha. I wanna fly to Osha. Weisha says, have you made up your mind? And Anki says, do you want to participate in the Flying to Osha Invitational organized by Don't Look Back Studio and Octave Wireless? These are supposed to be game studio names. <laughs> we say, could an ordinary player like me really participate in a tournament like that? Um, where I mean, we are the main character, <laughs> quite literally. <laughs> I got it right. Anki says, of course, every diehard gamer is a protagonist in the game and has the opportunity to write their own story. <laughs> oh dear God, it's sounding more and more like SAO. <laughs> Maybe like, not Elfheim, but the one after it. We don't talk about the Elfheim arc. We don't talk about that one. Keep that one out of your mouth. <laughs> it's cursed. <laughs> Both the robots say you've got to become the champion of the Flying to Osha Invitational. We're going to be the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> At 19th place. <laughs> we say, what are you talking about? And Wei Xia says, haven't you heard? Don't Look Back Studio fell into massive debt trying to get Flying to Osha off the ground. They only managed to finish developing with the help of Octave Wireless. Okay. Is the name Flying to Oshia supposed to be a, a play on words with, I think it was Fly Me to the Moon, the OG Honkai title? It'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Although the game did very well, they had little money left after settling their debt, but they're holding a contest. Interesting. We say game development is for, isn't for the weak of heart. That ain't that the truth. It's rough out here. It's been rough out here recently. And by here, I mean game development landscape. I, I don't work in game dev. It would be cool too, but I don't. But it is still rough out there. Anki says, yeah, but the good news is that the group is willing to put up the money for the studio to build an arcade after they crown a champion at the tournament. So do we have to build the arcade? Like, is it falling on us, but they give us the money to do it? Or am I just not reading right? I probably am not reading right. Like I said, just got out of a very long meeting thing, and now we're here. <laughs> I wasn't even going to record, but then I was like, oh, Hyperion Lounge is in an hour. I might as well record until then, at least. Ah, you got me. Ah. 
The way Xia says, that doesn't sound like good news to me, so maybe we are the ones building it. The first person to defeat the final boss will become the champion but the group released a DLC specially for this tournament. It's sounding like the third SAO arc, Gun Gale. It's sounding like that, but we'll see what the gameplay actually looks like. I actually was, I actually kind of like that arc a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Some like, like sword art is like hit or miss. They either have really good story arcs or like really bad. <laughs> I don't think there's any in between. And that's unfortunate because there's so much potential. This is why I don't like sword art online because there was so much potential, but it just got like, what is it? What's the phrase? Like lost in the water or something like that? Like it's so much potential. And then Elfheim happened. <laughs> Anyways, I can say that because I rewatched it like within the last five years, but not season three because season three is so boring. <laughs> and I stand by that. I never finished episode one. I don't have nostalgia for that season though. So maybe that's why. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Wei Xia says, according to the testers, the new boss they've added is unbeatable. I'll be the judge of that. If no one can defeat the final boss, there won't be a champion. This is really giving. I don't fully remember the Gungale art because I breezed through that. I actually really like that one. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. The ending is a bit iffy, but everything else is fine. Um, <laughs> perhaps the final boss is insurmountable for Unki for ordinary players, but we've got ourselves a rising star standing before us. I literally. This one's Anki. This one's Weisha. I would literally I was gonna say I don't remember who's who. You've all witnessed her talent. She can definitely defeat the final boss and become the Flying to Osha Invitation Contest Champion. Can we now? Do you really believe in me that much? Have you seen me rush an event? We say the only reason you're so gung-ho about me participating in this crazy tournament is that arcade they're going to build, eh? Okay, so we don't have to build the arcade. Solid. Weishia says, great. Anki's wording was easily seen through. And Anki says, there was truth to what I was saying, though. Moreover, Don't Look Back is a well-established studio that's brought joy to countless players. The stories they experienced in its games hold a special place in their hearts. That's wholesome. The sole reason Don't Look Back wants to open its own arcade is that it wants to create a space where people can relive those treasured memories and escape from the dreariness of everyday lives. That's wholesome enough. Wei Xia says, I may be a mere robot, but even I can feel how important this is to everyone. I also don't know what voices to give Wei Xia and Anki, so I'm kind of just giving them like very monotone voices. They say together, please, you have to win this. <laughs> so we say, you're making it impossible for me to refuse. Fine, I'll agree to your request. I won't deny I'm interested in this tournament. We love a tournament arc. We do, we love a tournament arc. Anki says, hmm? And Wei Xia says, didn't expect we could actually succeed. Yeah, no, that was that was quick actually. We say I'm a longtime fan of this studio as well. Even though it's a virtual experience, it helped me build courage and confidence in real life and taught me that we all have the chance to be pro tags. <laughs> Not the main character energy. Dream seeker. All we have to do is beat the game. So what's so hard about that? In the arena, under the spotlight, I will become the pro tag of this story. Not the main character energy. And our narrator says, eager and ready to play, you wear the VR glasses once again. That's just the narration. Did I do, uh, do it? I uh, it. can't talk. Did I do an accident little click? No. But in this flashbang, Anki says, I knew we could count on you. Well said. And in that case, welcome to the Flying to Osha Invitational. Bam bam. All right, six days, a little bit over a week, but it's six days and not seven hours. It's more like three. I've been stuck in that time loop before. Jen's back! She says, welcome to the invitation contest. All right, we get to get acquainted with basic rules. I love that there's stages. Thank God we have stages to get through that I can plan out the videos. Look at the crabs! Oh my God, I love another crab's treasure. <laughs> that's so funny. That's so like on brand, not on brand. That's so uh timely. <laughs> crabs with weapons, that's very timely. So we enter the stage, ba bam. After registering and completing other standard procedures, you officially enter the invitational. And a mystery person, probably just like an event organizer, tells us to please pay attention. Before proceeding, you must understand the rules of the game. Okay, this is a fun way to like tell us the rules. That's kind of fun. A familiar voice then. Although the rules are not written down, they are to be taken seriously and every player would do well to remember them. Okay. Another familiar voice. We have two now. Is it Weisha and Anki? Yeah. Just as I suspected, we say. It's nice to see you again. I'm um, actually, if Weisha and Anki are like the entire event, I'm okay with that because their voices are easy to do because it's just like normal. Anki says, fancy meeting you here. We promise you will have a thrilling good time. And Weisha says, now, allow us to go over the rules for you. So we're all ears. Anki says, during the game, 
you can initiate or accept challenges from other opponents, whereupon you will use your resources along with clever strategies to defeat them. Weixia says you'll encounter not only system-generated enemies, but also unexpected powerful foes. They will be players just like you. So their appearance and behavior might be, shall we say, somewhat different from ordinary opponents. So I'm assuming this is generally a single player game. For the tournament thing, they made it multiplayer or co-op. So that's just so much more chaotic. When you come across such situations, Anki says, do bear in mind that they are merely in-game opponents who will not cause you any harm outside the game. So if you die in the game, you do not die in real life. I don't trust that. <laughs> All you have to do is to defeat them in accordance with the game rules. After defeating your opponents, you can acquire loot, which can be used to enhance your game pieces. These pieces are crucial, not only as a means of combat, but also as a repository for all your player data. So be sure to take good care of them. I really want to get into the meat and potatoes of this event because I don't remember what this event actually entails because I think they were really brief with it in the previous Hyperion Lounge. Also, it's been a minute since that Hyperion Lounge dropped because all the rules are very standard to a Honkai event. I want to get into the meat and potatoes. Weishia says some pieces may come in unique shapes, as with the distinction between system-generated enemies and human players. And then sounds like she's getting nervous. She says, although they are different from ordinary pieces, you mustn't have any doubts about... And oh, <laughs> okay, she was going off script, so the memory disk got uh, finicky. Anki says, we should present the rules as they are written in the memory disk. Oh, she went off script. All right. Interesting about that one. I wonder if they'll come back. But she says, oh, sorry, I got carried away again. Anyway, just enjoy the game and have fun out there. If you're not having a good time, don't blame it on flying to Oshia. <laughs> they said, don't blame the player or the game, but blame yourself. <laughs> blame the game, not, no, blame the player, not the game. Anki says, it seems to me that you're ready to play. <laughs> so we're all set. And Anki says, all right then. As the game administrator, I hereby pronounce that the games have begun. Do they just need like one last person? So they t Anki and Weishia talked us into it. Okay, it's uh, another crab's treasure with Candy Crush. <laughs> this is the kid. Is, is it Candy Crush? I can't tell. So Aichan says, welcome to the contest. Here we have various types of game pieces. Match them in a line to trigger their corresponding effects. Yes, they have, I think, done an event like this before, but also I'm thinking it's going to be similar to PGR Circuit Connect, which reminds me I have to do Circuit Connect. Um... <laughs> but it seems like it should be similar. So we move those together and it goes boom. Yeah, it actually is quite similar, I think, to Circuit Connect from Punishing Guru Raven. So just the setup, it's like a match three gameplay, but you're attacking your opponent. The only difference is that in PGR, your opponent is like an actual in-game opponent. And there's like a lot of little intricacies with Circuit Connect. Circuit Connect can be a lot, but <laughs> Dream Seeker's game pieces are all melee type. Such game pieces fly off the board to hit enemies after they are matched. So we do that. It goes boom. All right. I was curious about that because one of them did not hit the opponent. So they have to be lined up properly. So you really want to do all your matching right here. What is going on music wise right now? There's like a lo-fi playing in one ear and like arcade music playing in the other. Do y'all hear that? Or is the music too low? I can't tell. I feel like I'm going insane. Like I thought something was playing music somewhere else, but I have like the other apps I have open wouldn't do that. Yeah, no, I'm, what is, also if I tab out, it stops. This event, man. Oh, what a pity though. One of the game pieces missed its attack. Looks like you'll have to pay attention to the position of the game pieces when matching them. Yeah, so you really need to focus on these three rows. I like how I'm explaining this, like you're gonna go use these strategies in the event. This video is going up after. I might not have a ton of stuff in the backlog right now, but I know that I know I don't I have enough to outlast this event. <laughs> the enemy's HP is displayed below it. The number of turns remaining before the enemy's next move is displayed on the upper left. So that's what this is. They have one turn. So they're low on HP. Let's finish them off. So we do this. Boom. I don't like that lo-fi playing in my other ear. It's like bothering me so much. A second wave has appeared. We have to clear the, the other wave now. We have a four stack right there. And if we do that four stack horizontally, it creates a special game piece that can remove an entire column. So a vertical column. So then we do this. It goes out and hits them like that. Oh, you have so much HP, bro. Removing four pieces vertically will create a similar special game piece that can remove an entire row. So if you have the chance to do four vertical or horizontal, I would say do four. Like get the, like, actually get like the horizontal. But this is a new pattern to do like the T match. And that looks like it'll get rid of everything on the board when you match it. So if you do that, it gets rid of everything and it's all going out. Okay. 
It's a three by three grid. So everything surrounding that piece will be removed. What about a five stack? Usually that ends up being like a rainbow piece in other type of games, but it's the exalted game piece used to exchange with other game pieces just like before. So you can put it in whatever spot you like. The enemy's HP has been reduced to one as for the tutorial, so we can try this. So we do that. It gets rid of all the piece you switched it with. So that was like an all red. Okay. Or fire or whatever. So it works like a rainbow piece. Okay. You attained victory with E. This tournament was much easier than you expected. Anki says, you're amazing. Even among the elite competition we have here, you're most assuredly a strong contender for the championship. I clicked through a little bit too early, but it's fine. I'm reading it. Weixia says, however, what you just skipped was merely the tutorial for rookie participants. The next opponent you'll have to face is the real deal. So not crabs. Weixia's tone took on an ominous air, and we ask a real opponent. Anki and Weixia stepped aside like soldiers in formation, creating a path for you leading to the heavy gates. Before even reaching out to push open the gate, you could already sense the weight of the upcoming battle from the palpable tension. Behind the gate lies the true challenge. Yes. Anki says, please open this gate and embrace the next challenge. And Weixia says, it will be a genuine test of your abilities, so brace yourself. We're ready. You took a deep breath and pushed open the tightly shut gate. We unlocked Dreamseeker! Yippee! So you have the character growth menu. We can up HP, max SP, and skill attack multipliers here. Leveling up character then increases their HP and skill attack multipliers. So we use 100 tickets to level up, and then we have inventory and skill info over here. The upper half of the inventory displays the game pieces that will be carried into battle, and we have certain slots locked, which will be replaced by basic game pieces during battle. So we can clear specific stages to unlock them and equip pieces. Okay, that's good to know. If we tap on the equipped slots, we can view the info, and then we can tap anywhere to close it. Okay, so back in the game we go. I can't take- th what is that? Okay, it's coming from the main menu is it i don't want to do i want flying to osha so i think i got it no it's still there oh my why is, do they have like a, a little ah uh, graphic tutorial oh that's what that is okay i was like graphics all right let's go to enteris tower or town oh, we're fighting senna i can't take i can't take the lo-fi in the back oh my god i'm about to mute the game <laughs> it's like just in my left ear and it's bothering me so much ah we'd be going enteris town too all right we just have to keep going, so we have to finish it out. As you opened the gate, you found only emptiness behind it. It seemed that your opponent had yet to make an appearance. Senna's late. Senna! Oh my god, wait, we say strange. Could it be lag? You led me to believe my next opponent will be right behind this gate. Oh, I accidentally- I went to click through and I hit history. Wow, I keep doing that tonight, though. I keep hitting things that I'm not supposed to be hitting. Anki maintained her polite smile, but her subtle hand movements were a clear indication that she was urgently contacting this formidable yet tardy opponent. She says, my apologies, but it seems that your opponent will need a little more time to arrive. So that way we fight crabs beforehand. I thought that this like blue up here was like screen tearing from my webcam or something, but it's part of the game because it's in my OBS. I was like, wait a minute. What is this blue up here? <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. But wait, she says she's still as careless as ever. However, such trivial matters are not a reflection of her true strength and you should still treat the upcoming battle with the utmost seriousness. Because Senna is the most unserious person. <laughs> we love Senna. But Dreamseeker says, understood. In this competition, no one is to be underestimated. Anki says, here she comes. Bum bum. Without warning, all the lights in the arena went out. She would have a dramatic entrance. We say, has the battle already started? But Weishia says, sorry, my bad. I should have explained beforehand. I thought it'd be a good idea to give her a grand entrance. Well, she loves the theatrics. We think they're really pulling out all the stops here. Who on earth is my next opponent? There we go. <laughs> Anki says, she's here. She's here. The rising star of Osha has embarked on a perilous journey and is heading unwaveringly toward her next opponent. We say, but I'm also new to this. I just got here, bestie. This is the first video. Weishia says, her place in the rankings is as solid as a rock and her determination inside is as restless as a flame. <laughs> I think you got the analogy backwards, we say. Did she? Her place in the rankings is as solid as a rock. No, I think that's right. Her determination is as restless as a flame. Oh, no. I think maybe they did get her uh, uh, opposite. Yeah. Maybe they did get it the opposite. Okay. Oh, our mystery voice says, Come on, Weishia. Let me show you how it's done. It's Senna. <laughs> Cute. We love Senna here. 
Oh, I wanted to try and get a screenshot. Okay, I can get it now. I want. I need the screenshot because my box is kind of covering her head, but we, we move. Anki says, For many years, she has gone up against fierce and exotic opponents of the toughest sort. Weishia says she was has winning potential and limitless possibilities, but the raging waves of her passions have yet to reach the shore of her dream. <laughs> and I think she then adds, In other words, that means I have plenty of room for improvement. Just imagine how awesome I'll be when that day really comes. <laughs> Senna... Anki says, you're absolutely right. As the administrators of the Flying to Oshia Invitational, we're eagerly awaiting the arrival of that day. So you are my next opponent, we say. Wishya says, we forgot the introductions. This lady is... Senna. <laughs> oh my god. She says, that's right. I am your next opponent, the gatekeeper of Flying to Oshia, aka the star rising from the bottom of the rankings, aka the zestful queen. <laughs> But you may call me Senna Dina. It's Senna, the zestful queen herself. We say, according to that introduction, you are you called those nicknames because you've never won against players from outside of this arena? <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> oh no, look at her face. Senna says, what the? Who do you think you are? How can you say such hurtful things? My skills are not to be questioned. Oh my God. We say, Senna, why are you pretending you don't recognize me? Senna. She says, isn't it more dramatic this way? In battle comics, the pro tag befriends people by going mano a mano. <laughs> Sana, Anki, Weisha, what's going on with this person? So rude. Oh my gosh. Anki says, Sana Dina, standing before you is the legendary monster rookie. <laughs> Dear God, haven't heard that phrase in a while. The monster rookie. Weisha says that we not only possess astonishing skills and strength, but only 10 seconds ago. She also developed a habit of crushing the confidence of other players for fun. Dear God. We say, I'm just playing along, mind you. And Anki says, look, the confidence that used to sign, shine on Senna Dina's face has been completely wiped away by this mocking display. And Senna says, don't think, however, that I will be disheartened by this. I will put my ranking, my honor, and my title on the line and fight with you with all I've got. We accept Senna's challenge. And she says, huh? Are you not even a little afraid of me? No, Senna, I love you, sweetie, but I'm not afraid of you. This is a battle where our rankings and reputation are at stake. Aren't you scared? Or at least a tiny bit hesitant? No. <laughs> we say, maybe I should put it another way. Like? Senna, you stay away from me. <laughs> oh, Senna. I want this screenshot. Actually, am I even getting the screenshots? I might not be. You ever just forget your screenshot toggles? Because I do. Ha, I remember them. Well, that'll probably be the thumbnail. <laughs> Senna says you. Weisha says that we've tripled, we've trampled upon Senadina's strength. Okay. Senna says I suggest you not say anything. It makes it seem like I have no chance at all. This got really loud again with the loud music in Honkai games. Anki says, calm yourself, Senadina. If you lose your cool over such a minor tiff, you'll hardly be able to live up to your reputation and the, as the gatekeeper of flying to Oshia. The star rising from the bottom of the rankings and the zestful queen. She says, but can someone like me really defeat such an apathetic and formidable opponent? Yes, Senna, but no, I will get through this. This is the first real state battle stage. We say formidable opponent. Is that supposed to be me? I only just started playing the game. <laughs> Anki says, if there is anyone out there who can defeat the hot-blooded and rash Senadina, it is you, as cold and intimidating as you are. Oh my god. I haven't even finished the beginner's tutorial, we say. But Weishia says, from a holistic point of view, Sanadina is indeed a rookie compared to you. And she says, okay, we get it. Do you have to keep bl blabbering? I think it's supposed to be blabbering, but blabbering the point or be labor. Oh, maybe it's not blabbering. Be laboring. Is that a word? Oh my God. I'm the stupid one. <laughs> Anki says, however, as impetuous and headstrong as she may be, she is also fearless and never shies away from a fight. And we say that makes two of us. Weisha says, you're also free to continue teasing her, as you only desire victory. But the brave set, Senadina says, enough with all this jibber jabber. Just wait, you'll never be able to defeat me. Okay. My yo-yo is itching to go. We've switched formats as well. Senadina pulled herself together once again. And she says, don't start feeling sorry for me, you hear? I don't want you pulling any punches. Isn't it the other way around? If you pull the punches, isn't it the other way around? Anyways, 
as the battle-hardened gatekeeper of flying to Oshia, star rising from the bottom of the rankings, and zestful queen. I'm all too aware of how cutthroat these competitions can be. We say you're right, and Senna says, since you also agree with me on this point, come and defeat me fair and square. Only then will you be qualified to open that gate and carry on your journey. Senadina points to the closed door in the arena and says, this is the door that will lead you to true victory. All right, Senna, let's have at it. Oh, what well, a oh god, there's a lot. There were the new ways of matching in special game pieces, so now you have to get familiar with character abilities. Also, as per the usual, I am covering our like stat box, but this is the best place to go. We have ultimates and special skills as well. Ultimate skills have cooldowns and require SP to use. This is very much now like Circuit Connect. Okay, so I kind of know what we're doing. Can we be acquired by removing game pieces during battle? Okay. Special skills do not consume. SP will be in cooldown for a certain number of rounds after use. Okay. Tap on the character to view our information. Character information shows the effects of carried game pieces and skill details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We've been given SP for the tutorial. Use ultimate. It removes all multi-hit game pieces on the board. Okay. So do we just... Oh, we pick one. Okay, so that's like a rainbow piece. All right. Previous we have enemies has been defeated and new ones have shown up. We can tap on an enemy portrait to view the stuff. All right. I think maybe focus on Senna first. Do we have an L match? Because this could be really cracked. We do. Nice. And we can have uh, repeat matches. That's really good. I'm going to use this. What does it do? Converts the dining name game piece on the board into an exclusive game piece. Okay, I'm just going to do this first then. Because that's a pretty good one. <laughs> right in the head. I'm sorry, Senna. Okay, so we only can use the rainbow piece on purple. So I'm actually going to do that. Match up two special pieces. And then they all turn into special pieces. That is how you play the game. And Senna's, Senna's already taken out. So let's do that then. Oh, that's not actually what I meant to do. Let's do that. All right. Doing well. We're doing really well. I want to match this with something. What if we do that? It's going to miss. Oh, that's probably even better than what I wanted to do. I'm going to use you up here. Oh, come on. I need a bottom match because I need to get you up here. You stink. Stinky. Let's, let's do that then. That's probably, I could have done that before. Victory! I love this game mode. I love these sort of games though. I used to play them all the time. I had a couple I was like obsessed with for really long times. Line, the messenger app had like a line friends one that I got to like stage 2000 or 3000 in at one point in time. And then also there was a Sailor Moon one that I played before I got to stage like a thousand or something. I get obsessed with those little phone games. I haven't in a really long time. But that's because I now make the conscious decision not to download them because I will get obsessed. <laughs> Senadina, Senadina says, help me up. I can still stand. Oh, gosh. I'm the gatekeeper of flying to Oshia, the star rising from the bottom of the rankings and the zestful queen. My story can't end in a place like this. Senadina, your journey ends here. It's up. It's over. <laughs> Anki says, Senadina. I regret to inform you that you lost. This is right to the point. Oishia says, according to the rules of the game, your title as the champion will now be transferred. <laughs> oh god, that's rough, buddy. You don't need to do anything other than tapping confirm in the pop-up window. <laughs> no, she looks so sad. Anki says, Senadina, please don't be disheartened. Your potential is limitless, and your future remains bright. This failure is merely a minor and slightly unpleasant episode on your path to becoming a master of flying to Oshia. Literally, out in the first round. I am so sorry, Senna. But also, I'm not. This failure will be an opportunity for you to learn from your mistakes and come back stronger. Whereas our success will make her complacent and rest on her... Dear God. Oh, Senna. Do you want a hug, Senna? I'll give you a hug. That might be pouring salt in the wound, though. I was gonna play this game until um until Hyperion Lounge started, but I'm, I'm honestly kind of hungry and I just had dinner. This is what I get for having a late dinner because I was in a meeting. Anyways, Waysia says. Also, as the saying goes, failure is the mother of success. Senadina, you have laid the foundation for success through your failure. That's that's a lot. <laughs> but we say, hey, I'm the one who took on the champion. How come she's portrayed as the heroic protagonist of a battle comic, while I'm portrayed as the big bad who opposes her at every turn? We got a point, aren't we? I think, I think the whole point is this game is selling the, the view that everyone's a protagonist, everyone's their own main character, so they have to make her feel better. Weishia says, we have no other choice. Games aren't always as easy and carefree as they seem, you know. Anki says, yesterday's winner may become today's enemy. You either die as a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. 
<laughs> Anki, okay, fine. We're pulling that line out. We say, I understand you want to console Sinadina, but that doesn't mean you have to throw me under the bus and paint me as the villain. I'm just an ordinary player. I literally just got here. I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of know what I'm doing because I used to be obsessed with these sort of games, but still. But Senadina says, indeed, you claimed victory effortlessly. Sad, Senna. Her head is hung in resignation. Maybe you should say something to her, Senna. But we do say something to her. We say, anyway, Senadina, the die is cast, and I'm looking forward to facing you again in the future. But before that, the door of victory ahead will be opened by... So Senadina raised her head, showing not even a hint of disappointment or discouragement. Oh, wait, she's coming with us. We're working together. That's fine. Senadina says, by us. Well said. Let's not dawdle here and instead continue exploring the area ahead together. Sena. <laughs> wait, that wasn't the plan. Oh my god. Just play it off. Play it off. She's so excited. Play it off. We say, wait a minute, what's going on? Why are you continuing the journey with me? <laughs> the narrator, oh my god, the applause of the two game administrators echoed in the arena. Oh my god, wait, Anki says, congratulations, you've discovered a hidden rule. What do you mean there's hidden rules? Weishia says, after all, this invitational is tough as nails, and it would be exceedingly difficult to make it to the end alone, so we get new characters. Anki says, as long as you both agree, your opponents can become your companions, and you can face the challenge that await you as a team. Is it actually team combat, or is it just like this character is now added to your team and you can play as them one at a time? Because I, I feel like that makes more sense. But we say a team? I haven't agreed to anything like that. Senna's not going to let us out of this one. She says, don't try and act all big and tough. The area ahead is rife with hazards. Even someone as strong as me would have a rough go running it solo. All right, Senna. We say, so I was right. You've never even seen other players, have you? <laughs> Don't rub it in her face. You're gone. Senna Dina says, I mean, yes, but only because those levels were too tricky. I couldn't even pass the tutorial. But no matter. With you by my side, we're destined to conquer this tournament and emerge as reigning champions. Well, I mean, the main protagonist character always has like their plucky group of side character friends. <laughs> <laughs> Weixia says, You are most fortunate to have come across an ideal ally, Senadina. However, if we don't agree, you must remain level-headed. Life is full of twists and turns, after all. Oh, we have to. We say, wait a sec. I haven't refused yet, either. All right, fine. Let's team up. <laughs> we had to. Look how happy she is. Come on. It's Senna. She says, yay, awesome. <laughs> I can finally see the world outside. You're going to take up the fighting responsibilities, right? It would be so funny if Senna just was not a playable character in this event at all. She's just along for the ride. That would be so funny, but I think we grab her later on. I was going to say, because this seems like how we would introduce more characters to the roster. And like we'd grab Senna Dina in this round, but I don't think we get her for a little while still. We say, are you saying you won't be fighting at all? And Senna says, that's right, Senna. This is why we love Senna Dina. She's so ridiculous. I love her. We say, how can you say that no so nonchalantly? But Weishia says, I regret to inform you that Senna has not passed the beginner's tutorial, so she does not possess sufficient pieces to handle the more intense fights. <laughs> oh my god. She's... Senna Dina is today's girl failure of the day. <laughs> but we love her. She says, no worries. It's all temporary anyway. If you help me gather some pieces, I could easily become a powerful ally. Yep. I was going to say, that sounds fine, because we get her a little bit later on, so it's probably after we get some more pieces. We say, sounds like a deal to me. Never mind. If we want to become champions, we need to acquire stronger pieces and other items. Challenging other players is the quickest way to accomplish that, so let's look around. As you browse through the list of players nearby, three nicknames stood out. Who are they? Let's start with these players. And Senna says, sounds good, let's go! We say, you didn't even read their names. Oh, Senna. Oh, Senna. She says, okay, fine, guilty as charged, but it doesn't matter. You're the one who's going to be going up against them anyway. Oh boy, I can't wait to leave the newbie's nest. <laughs> She's just been here for like the past week. We got an energy battery. Wow, I love Zenless on Zero. This is the second time I think I've said that today. <laughs> is it? We have a new slot and game piece, so we can t equip the energy battery, which is a support piece. That's what the thumbs up does. The game piece will be colored when deployed, depending on the character using it. Okay, good to know. I've done these sort of events before where I try to do a half of the board, but these this only has 10 stages, so we actually might be able to get to stage 5 and do half of this board, and then each stage will kind of have its, ha its own two videos. That works. 
in Terrace Town 3 then. More crabs. Recommended level is level 2, and I'm at level 2, so we'll do that. After some searching, you quickly found the first player you wanted to challenge. And Senna says, do we really have to battle this player? <laughs> Who is it? I thought it was just some crabs. We say yes. Our levels are still dismally low. In order to level up, we need to defeat more players. In light of our situation, it's perfectly rational to battle this player. What is it? The three bang boos from the, the, the store? <laughs> I need to stop making some of those on zero references. It's bad. His level, CP, and ranking shouldn't give him an overwhelming advantage over us. I don't know. I mean, I could have overleveled myself. <laughs> I didn't, but I could have. Son of Dina says, still though, are you sure about this? And we say, yes, I've made up my mind. Senadina looks at us with concern and says, you're a newbie in this game, but this guy looks elderly. <laughs> Not the old man. Old man Lee, the dance legend. He says, that's a keen eye you've got, little girl. Bruh, just like old lady Wong in the square said, I'm no spring chicken anymore. The NPC design goes crazy, though. Senadina says, you literally put old man in your username. So this must be his username. He's the dance legend. He says, darn it. Did I sync my contact name when logging in? I'm getting on in years. Or getting... I'm getting on in years. My memory isn't what it used to be. I don't know what that means. Does this mean I'm not old? <laughs> maybe. That feels... That's nice. Usually I make jokes about being old, but maybe I'm, I'm not old enough to know what that means. But Senna says, let's challenge another player. And the dance legend says, hey there. I don't like what you're implying. I've been cleaning out internet cafes for decades and even integrated my square dancing moves into my gaming style. I've wiped the floor with many young folks. Don't make the mistake of underestimating this old man. Well, I mean, you know how many like adults, like adult adults play Candy Crush? I found out my mom, it's not Candy Crush. It's one of the other games like that. She's like at level 3000 in one of those games. That's like something I would do, but she did it. Gamers. <laughs> We're all gamers. Gaming for all ages. Hey, <laughs> We say, see, Sana, he is more than willing to accept our challenge. And she says, I didn't expect you to be such a gaming master. Dear God. Gaming for all ages. Hey, <laughs> Old man Lee says, gaming isn't just for youngsters. If you wish to challenge me, go right ahead. So let's go. Senadina asks, why are you so gung-ho about this? Ah, we say the clock is ticking, Mr. Lee. Please enlighten me. We're like, come on, chop, chop. We don't got time for this. All right. So the another crab's treasure opponents is probably just uh, the huge. I want to see what the battery does. So let's do this really quickly. It looks like it takes out a full line, maybe. What are these stat up pieces? I'm going to match you down there. Now it's the enemy around. Okay, not a ton of damage. That's I can live with that. Hmm. I'm trying to see what I can do. What if we do a cube? Oh, you can't cube match? Rude. I'm going to do this way because I'm like... I can't match any in this line here because it won't hit. So it's kind of working around that is what I'm doing right now. Boom. All right. I can match here. We'll do that. All right. One down. There's two waves though. So you need to be careful. Do that. Nice. Come on. Come on. One more up top. Oh, evil. You're almost out. Bruh. Oh, I goofed. Oh my God. I didn't realize nothing hits this row. Oh my God. I'm so stupid. Just a little stupid. That could have been the end for me. Let's do this. I like that. I like the looks of that one. What do we have the most of on the board? Probably purple. But also I think I may do green because green is up and we get a, bo a boost there. That was good. Mm, that was really good. I like that. Let's do that really quickly. All right. And then I'm going to do a little bit of uh, this as so. And that is how you play these sort of games. <laughs> Like, sometimes these games are kind of luck-based, but if you know how to game it the right way and use your power-ups... in the bag. It's in the bag. Senadina says, another easy victory. You're truly remarkable. Yeah, no, that was an easy victory. Even though I, I almost goofed it. I almost goofed the whole thing. I threw almost, but then I didn't. We say, that's only because you went easy on me. What, the old man? Maybe. <laughs> he says, it's been a while since I encountered a youngster as skilled and humble as you. It reminds me of the passion I had when I used to battle in my younger days. Well, to the victor go the spoils. These wireless chips are all yours. They're handy little things that can level you up. That must be like our EXP materials for this event. We say I'll accept them gladly. Thank you. And old man Lee says, don't mention it. I joined this competition to go head to head with you young folks and reminisce about my youth. Since I lost, it's only fair that I give the winners some loot. He's just, he's like, here you go, kiddo. 
You you do you do your best. You show them how it's done. I have to say though, young one, you're incredibly skilled, quick-witted, and polite. You're primo material for square dancing. There's so much going on in that sentence. After this invitation, I'll, intro I'll introduce you to old lady Wang. How about it? Okay. If I can find her someone with your innate talent, I'll surely make a triumphant return to the dance floor and create another dancing legend. Wait, so he's a square dancing legend? In Osha, how does that happen? We need to be done soon. Um, We have 15 minutes to Hyperion Lounge. I think we can get this done. We can get this done. We can get the next stage done. Okay, speed run, come on. We say, if it's all right with you, I'd prefer to finish this tournament before we make that decision. And old man Lee says, all right, no worries. After the competition, don't forget to drop by the Interis building square dance trope. All right, hell yeah, brother. We say, Senna, we still have another player to meet, don't we? And she says, let me check. We've still got time. Look, they're on a time crunch now, too. We say, what's that? We're rushed for time. We better get going then. See you, Grandpa Lee. He says, the passion of youth. Goodbye, and don't forget about the dance troupe. All right, come on. Oh my god, it like it's like paused for a second. I thought we were done. We got a mystery gotcha pawn. I'll, I'll always take a gotcha pawn. They've done this before. Double cut is a melee game piece. Deals 30 times two damage. Okay, you know, I'll take that. There was a crit out on that. So we equip it. We equip it. Oh, I was like, can I equip it? Thank you. All right. Um, I can also hit a level up, so let's do that. Oh, we have two more stages to do. We'll see where we're at after this one. I might have to squeeze stage five into the next video for this event. Um, we have Vil V. <laughs> Um, I may have to squeeze stage five, squeeze stage five into the next video for this event. Um, cause I might not have time before Hyperion Lounge, which this video has been long enough. So that's fine. Usually the second half of a stage ends up not running as long as the first half. So that's fine. Cause the first half has all the tutorial. Looks like we're in the Interis building now. With a bit of effort, you found the second player you intended to challenge, but... Senadina says, what kind of smack talk do you think this player has in store for us? He's been typing for nearly 10 minutes now. And we say, maybe a top tier player even takes trash talk with the utmost seriousness. Let's wait and see what he says before devising a plan. Oh, is he just like antisocial? He's still just typing. Or is that just his username? So it looks like he's typed. <laughs> what is it? Maybe that's just his username. So it says that at the top or something. Anyways, typing dot 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 says, what are you two doing here? Coming to my turf unannounced and without issuing a formal challenge. Did, did we not? <laughs> we both say, me and Senadina say, it's because we see you've been typing this entire time. That has to be just be his username. Oh yeah. <laughs> Senadina says, I get it now. Typing is his username. <laughs> Look at her face. I love her. What a clever username. It can catch opponents off guard while they wait for him to talk. Can you help me come up with something like that? Please. <laughs> Senna. I love Senna so much. She's like, oh my god. We say, but if my understanding of the rules is correct, the element of surprise isn't even a possible strategy in this game. I must admit that his nickname is pretty interesting, though. I did something similar once by pretending to be a file transfer assistant in a chat app and received all sorts of unexpected messages. Then Chen Shui. <laughs> we have a whole story. Oh my god. Senadina says, what about Chen Shui? We say, it's actually, it's better not to bring up such painful memories. Okay. So not typing says, do you two mind? I'm right here and you're chatting amongst yourselves like I don't even exist because we don't like you. <laughs> we don't like you. We're just, we're here. We're vibing. Senna says, if it weren't for your bizarre username, we wouldn't be carrying on the conversation we're having. Yeah, we're in a hurry. We gotta get to the Hyperion Lounge, baby. He says, I chose this username to stand out. In real life, people treat me like I'm practically invisible. Gee, I wonder why. Not only was I never invited to work gatherings, but for three consecutive months, no one sent me any requests. I ended up getting paid for three months without lifting a finger. Do you know how lonely that feels? I mean, if I got paid three months of pay for doing absolutely nothing, I wouldn't say anything either. They'll realize eventually what they're doing. <laughs> Come on, work smarter, not harder. Yeah, no, he's like, I don't know. Sounds kind of awesome to me. He literally didn't have to do anything. He says, well, it's not. I want a chance to prove my worth and to become someone people look up to. Okay, superiority complex. Some of us just want to buy our little treats in the morning and play our little gotcha games with our pretty little characters. That's that's it. He says the only way to do that is by standing out from the crowd. Okay, you could have said something. The reason I love playing games is that everyone here notices me. So get ready to face me. Uh, I don't like this guy. Like you... You're complaining about doing nothing for money. Let's do this. Oh, that's what the battery does. Okay, so what about our new thing? Ooh, 
So the battery doesn't actually do any hits. I think first chance we get, I want to take that off rotation then. I know it like is a support buff thing, but enemies with shields can negate an attack with a, a layer of shield. Use characters that know multi-hit attacks to counter such enemies. I don't think we even have that right now. Let's do this. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. I can do this here. I don't think this Melvi has a shield, so this should take you out real quick. Let's do this one. Boom. All right. I want to use you. Let's hit that because then that'll hit not what i wanted i wanted this one all right yeah now that's a hit all right okay let's do this all right we got a double yeah and a buff actually maybe we will keep the buff for a little while all right you you're both buff pieces and then we'll do you boom you're done cool do we want to be done i think we're going to be done because hyperion lounge starts in eight minutes um, and we have to finish this out anyways. So, Sunadina says, Wow, we! That was quite a thrilling battle, but in the end, we still triumphed. Yep, we did. We say beginner's luck, that's all. This guy is so formidable that he pushed me beyond my level. I don't know, he was actually really easy. So, not typing says, You're much newer to this game than me, but your skills have already surpassed mine. It seems that even in this game, I'm not someone worthy of attention. Dude, just get another job if it's that means that much to you. The current economy and market job market in Oshia can't possibly be as bad as it is in the IRL so like unless it is unless it is then it's like okay yeah maybe you can't get another job that's really difficult um anyways he says you're still far away from the top however if you want to be the top dog then you've got to become the champion that's what we're working on sir we say thanks for the reminder we'll do our best to make that a reality and Senadina says feeling confident are we I knew I had chosen the right ally. Sanadina, we chose you. He says, I really can't win against you. Typing sent us some items. All right. Talking big won't get you anywhere. Take these. They might be useful for some progress. I didn't even read that right, but we cannot linger. We have to get to Hyper Read Launch. If someone is capable of beating me so easily, then they are surely destined for great things. You hear me? I'm going to keep my nose to the grindstone and so should you. All right. <laughs> Maybe we all band together at the end to take out the big bad bug. The big bad bug of this event. We say, of course, thanks for the gift. I'll use this to reach the pinnacle. Yay! A hand axe! All right, AI, I'm going to switch that piece out. We unlock the daily stages, but we're not going to do them right now just because we got to get out of here. So this is a daily challenge where you can get some more of the tickets. Oh, I tell we can't do this right now. We don't have time for this. I got to go. Like I said, I got to get to the Hyperion Lounge. Oh, God, it's that event again. I do want to check the supply like really fast because I know that they're going to show... The little like lo-fi music is still playing in my left ear. Can I get one astral op drop? I have five minutes. Well, it's fine. If I have to record a Hyperion Lounge like this, I will. No. Focus, cause I'm oh my God, Ellie. Oh, it's, El it's only Ellie's gear. It's only Ellie's gear. It's fine. <gasps> Ellie. <laughs> I almost did a 10 pull on the dorm supply. I didn't mean to. I want to use my dorm supply. I've been clicking like the wrong, like slightly off. My mouse battery is dying. And usually when that happens, I like click slightly off center. And so I keep doing that. I could pull for Senna, or I could pull for Ellie. You know, I think I may pull Ellie. And I, I clicked the wrong thing. It's advanced supply. It's only 15 hours. How much? There's 50. Mm, but I might want Lantern. I'm, I can't. I can't. All right, I'm going to leave it for now, Um, and I'll figure out who I want to pull for after. Uh, if I do polls in the Hyperion Lounge video, y'all will know because it'll be up by now. But still, I, I'm like, if you want to know what happened before that, it was this, me wanting to pull for because i think like, i love senna but i've heard that her kit is kind of iffy right now and they're it's being reworked slightly by hoyo so i'm kind of like maybe i pull for ellie instead i love ellie <laughs> we need to leave though i need to leave hyperion launch that video is up by now obviously and we've already gotten 7.5 but still we need to be done that is it for this video thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more we're speed running the outro by the way uh i forgot the rest of the outro bye guys